Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at Black Widow Clairvoyant. I recently ranked her up as a 4 star, all the way to rank 5. And if you saw my previous video on her, that was a first look. It was part of the content creator program, so I got her as a rank 3 5 star temporarily so that I could give you guys, you know, a preview so that you would know whether you wanted to go for her in the arena or in the crystals. But now I've had a chance to examine her a little bit more, play around with her, and so let's uh, check her out here. First, we're gonna take a look at her synergies. So this first synergy she has with Doctor Strange is actually pretty good. You have a 50% chance to inflict a stun for two seconds after a special two. Uh, and as you know, you can get in a full combo within those two seconds. As long as you start your combo within those two seconds, you can finish it. So that's actually pretty good. Uh, fire and forget. Uh, basically, whenever the opponent is immune to incinerate, uh, they are inflicted with a slow debuff for eight seconds, reducing the ability accuracy of unstoppable and evade effects by 100%. All right, so that can be very useful as well against certain champions. Uh, and then we have Spider's Bite. I like this one. While Death Touch is active, all attacks reduce the opponent's chance to trigger or of triggering their abilities by 50%. Very nice. I like it. And uh, we have here Guilty Souls. This is a synergy she has with herself. And so everyone on the team gets 10% attack, plus 10% attack, when fighting against villain opponents. Very, very nice. Nice little boost there. Uh, and the final one is with Electro. Everyone gets plus 5% perfect block chance. Not all that exciting. All right, so you're going to get the Guilty Souls no matter what. And then you can select one of these. Uh, they're all pretty decent. Uh, this Fire and Forget seems a bit situational. Uh, but Spider's Bite and the a Spell a Day keeps the Doctor away. Those two are the ones that I like the most. All right. Let's take a look at her abilities. Now, her signature ability, I have it almost maxed out as this four star. Uh, when receiving damage that would knock her out, Death Touch is removed instead. And Claire gains a death immunity buff, preventing death and healing uh, a percentage of her health, her max health, over four seconds. So it's a cheat death. Short, simple, that's what it is. So while I don't think it is necessary for her, it is a nice to have. So I don't believe she needs to be awakened, but having that can definitely get you out of some uh, trouble. Okay, so the first ability here, her passive clairvoyance charge. We need to understand these charges, okay? Uh, shout out to Maniac. He gave me a nice set of notes. Shout out to Maniac. He gave me a nice set of notes that I used as well as looking over this. And one of the things that he put in the notes was that you really want to understand those charges because those charges empower and affect her other abilities. So it's a great thing that it's the first thing that is mentioned here. So you start off with three charges. Now, each time she or her opponent are immune to any effect or an immunity purifies a pre-existing effect that's going to come into play, she gains one charge and 4% of her max power, and it stacks up to 20. This is one of the reasons that she is so good with suicides, because what this means is that if you're running full suicides, that's liquid courage and double edge, the double edge, you're going to find out in a little bit, is going to basically give you another charge and 4% of her max and we'll talk about that. Now, after landing a or receiving a light or medium attack and the opponent has one or more buffs, 
a charge is consumed and one buff is nullified. So if you don't have any charges left, don't try doing this because you are required to have charges in order to remove a buff. All right, or a debuff or buff. Yeah, a buff. All right. First thing, Curse of the Black Widow. She has three types of curses. And each one of these gives her a different immunity, but only one can be active. So if you are familiar with uh, Symbiote Supreme, he has three modes, just like Doctor Strange, uh, but his, on his special three, he can activate all three, but she cannot. All right, now by default, the Curse of Blood is active. Now you remember I said that we were gonna talk about that. So here you are with suicides and you have double edge, which puts a bleed on you. She starts out curse of blood. So she now has bleed immunity. It'll purify it. Therefore you'll gain one charge and some power. See how that works. All right. Uh, landing a fourth light attack cast the next curse in order. So you cycle through them in this order, curse of blood, plague, hellfire. She starts in blood and you just work your way through. So if you're running Liquid Courage, you're gonna start in blood, that's gonna give you a charge and power, then you land that fourth light attack, you'll switch over to Curse of Plague, now you have poison immunity, and I believe you'll get another charge and some more power. All right, so that's how that works. She is very suicide friendly. Now we've got Curse of Damnation. Finishing a combo with a medium attack inflicts one debuff. Throwing a heavy attack or special one inflicts up to three debuffs. And what debuffs it thrown depends on which curse is active. So if the curse of blood is active, you're gonna put a bleed debuff. Curse of plague, you're gonna do a poison. And curse of hellfire, it'll be incinerate. Now, do you remember how you gain charges? If they're immune, to blood and you're in curse of blood and you are hitting them with the medium you're going to be gaining charges all right see how that works now another thing that i'm going to try to show you guys in the uh, video is that when you throw a heavy attack the heavy attack doesn't have to land that is my understanding so if you stun them back off throw a heavy that'll work. I don't know why you'd want to do that. Or if they're throwing off their special and you feel it's safe, you can throw a heavy. All right. So just something that, uh, you might want to bear in mind. All right. So, uh, the special attack two hundred percent chance to inflict the opponent with buff immunity for 10 seconds, decreasing to 50% against science. So science champions, it's going to be a 50% chance you'll be able to apply the buff immunity, but everybody else, you're definitely going to apply buff immunity, which means they can't get any buffs. That is very, very useful. Uh, that is some utility that I hadn't seen where instead of you placing an immunity on yourself, you give them an immunity so they can't get unstoppable. Uh, they can't get any of the buffs, beneficial buffs that they might be used to. All right, so very nice. Uh, now each hit grants an effect determined by the curse. Now this is going to be something that we're going to look at. I'm not gonna go through every single combination in the videos, but this curse of blood is the one that you hear about the most because she's gonna regenerate 35% of the damage dealt. And sometimes, you'll see her generate some crazy amounts. She does that because of the uh, death touch. All right, so let's go over the special three and then we'll double back to that. The special three, all her charges are removed, increasing her attack per charge that was removed. So you build up a whole bunch of charges and you fire off your special three. Now you're doing a lot more damage. Now remember the Curse of Blood, 
if you're in that mode when you fire off your special three, it's going to regenerate based on the damage dealt. So now you're dealing a lot more damage based on how many charges. And then you gain death touch, which is going to last for 1.2 seconds per clairvoyant charge. Remember, you can get up to 20 of these. And death touch increases the potency of all curse effects by 100% and is not affected by ability accuracy. Let me explain that. This means that the Curse of Blood, when you fire off the special two, it normally gener regenerates 35% of the damage dealt. So you're not only gonna be dealing more damage, so you'll be getting healed more, but you're gonna gain Death Touch. And Death Touch is gonna increase the potency of the curse. So let's get into some gameplay okay so we're going to take a break from realm of legends because winter soldier is not a good uh showcase of her abilities here uh we're going to go into uncollected mode of this month's event quest uh chapter one final quest you can see the team that i've chosen to go in with uh dr strange adds that chance to stun after the uh special two uh, Magneto, Magneto, Cyclops, they just add attack. I think it's a 6% attack each. So 18% total. All right, let's dive in. And we're going to go on this path here because this path has a few immunes. So you'll get a chance to see how she does against immunes. And you'll see the only thing linked, debuffs, last 100% uh, longer. So nothing that's going to affect us too much. Now, these guys aren't very stacked, but this is a four star. All right, so right off the bat, you see that it cleansed the uh, blood because she started in the Curse of Blood. Uh, you can see the charges there going up every time I land a medium. See, medium, medium, there we go. Got seven, end in a medium, got eight. Okay. So that's how you can get some charges because we are in Curse of Blood, which gives us bleed immunity, and he is bleed immune himself. So you're generating those charges. All right, as you can see here, not too difficult. Uh, again, not stacked enough to really uh, show off what she can do, but we will uh, have some more gameplay so let's keep going here. And in this fight, what we're going to do, we're going to see if we can't heal up a little bit. Okay, so she starts in Curse of Blood. That's where you're going to get the heal on the special two. All right. Keep going. I don't know why she want to play all coy like that. Okay, I don't even know if she's going to survive. Okay, let's see if we can take some block damage. Okay, well, that damage works too. All right, there we go. Okay, healed up. Didn't mean to take that much damage, but you can see she healed up uh, pretty nicely. But that heal that you just saw is nothing compared to what she can do if she has all her charges and she's in uh, Curse of Blood, and she fires off that special too. Uh, these guys just will not last long enough. But we're going to go through uh, just so you can see that this four-star can handle herself. All right, so Curse of Blood again. Try and just do medium, medium. See if we can keep from killing him by mistake. Got some power gain. All right, there we go. All right, there we go. Very nice. You see that uh, he had buff immunity. So both his heals, he didn't get. Very nice uh, showcase of that buff immunity in action. All right, let's keep going. So now, as you know, she is bleed immune and she does a bleed. So the Curse of Blood... That's where we want to be for the most part. Okay. See what we got to deal with here. Now she gets a passive fury and armor. So I don't believe 
that is going to be nullified by Black Widow, but we shall see. All right, so first things first, just start hitting up. You can see her charges going up. Okay, she's got some nice charges going up here. And there we go. Boom. She's healed up nicely. Even with the recoil, doesn't matter. Oh, explosive personality. I forgot. Okay. Let's get to that special three. Fire that off. Just look at that. This is only a four star, ladies and gentlemen. A four star. Granted, this is the first chapter, so it's the easiest chapter uh, of the uh, event quest, but you can see her potential. All right, let's see what else we can uh, get into. All right, so now we're going to go into chapter three, the final quest of Uncollected. We're going to face more stacked opponents, and you see we're going in with the same team. First fight is going to be against OG Vision. He's immune to both bleed and poison. So you'll get a chance to see her cycle through her uh, curses. All right, so first off, she starts in blood. So that takes away my double edge. I just switched to plague. I ended in a light attack to switch. All right, and we're going to end in a light attack again. Hellfire. And then one more. And we're back to curse of blood. All right. Now I can end in mediums. Just want to bait that out because we don't want him that crazy. There we go. Four, and then I end it in a medium so I can build up those charges. Okay, let's uh, bait this out. Fire off that uh, special three. Okay. Not too bad. Death touch. Gives us a nice little uh, cheat death. All right, now we wanna bait that out. Okay, there we go. Bait some more. All right, keep going. There we are. Okay, bait it out again. Okay. Don't wanna go too hard, because he's getting a lot of power gain. As you can see. All right. Come on. Got to bait it out. There we go. Hit him one more time. Bait. Ooh. Thought I got hit there. Okay. Okay, bait it out. Heal up a little bit, but... Got the stun. Yeah. Here we go. Death touch wasn't active, so he died. Okay, so what do I think of Black Widow Clairvoyant? She's good. She is a great utility champion. I wish I had her as a five star. I would take her all the way up. That is my opinion. So let's go through some of her pros. So she's very suicide friendly. So as somebody who uh, runs suicides all the time, that is a big bonus for me. All right, you saw in the video how switching her curses gives her different immunities. So it will give her the immunity of the uh, curse of blood, curse of plague, which will take away the liquid courage and the double edge. So beautifully suicide friendly. Uh, she can also nullify buffs on opponents. That is very useful in many cases. Now, the unstoppable buff, uh, I'm not so sure about how that works. I don't believe she is intended to nullify the unstoppable safely. Uh, but she can nullify buffs. Uh, she also has something that's pretty unique. Buff immunity. You saw when I was fighting Ultron, she actually put buff immunity on him, so he was not able to get his health buff. He couldn't get his healing buffs up. So that's really nice. So she can nullify them 
and she can prevent them. Very, very useful right there. Uh, she's also immune to bleed, poison, or incinerate based on the curse that she's in. Uh, she's also very sustainable. She heals off of that special too. And if you build up the charges, we didn't do that in the video. The video is already long enough. Uh, if you build up the charges, then build to a special three, fire it off. Your death touch is going to last a pretty long time. I think 1.2 seconds per charge. So if you build up to like 20, it's going to last a good while. All right. It's going to last enough for you to build up to a special two. So build up to 20 charges, fire off a special three, build up to a special two, fire that off while you are in the curse of blood and watch how much health she regens. Crazy. All right. So she is very sustainable. Even if you don't build it all the way up, if the fight's not that long or your opponent's not that stacked, then you can still heal. It's just not going to be as dramatic as you might see in other videos. And finally, she can debuff the opponent with a heavy without making contact. Now, I don't think I did that in this video, but she can do it. So like, for example, if you're fighting an opponent and your opponent uh, fires off a special and you're already at a good distance, instead of waiting, you can fire off your heavy before his uh, special is over and you will put those debuffs and she can put a bleed poison or incinerate debuff based on the curse that she's currently in. So she has a lot of good utility. I love her. I've probably missed something even. All right. Lots of stuff to this champion. Now, I don't think she really has a lot of cons. You know, you might think that her uh, damage, maybe her damage is a little bit uh, weak. I don't know. But, you know, she's still pretty, pretty good when it comes to damage. Uh, she may not be the best damage dealer. Now, she does have some weaknesses. If she goes up against an opponent who is not immune, then she's not going to be as effective because she really needs those charges to reach her full potential. And if they're not immune, then building those charges are going to be very, very difficult. So if she's going up against a champion that is not immune, that's not ideal for her. Uh, power Sting, uh, she needs to fire those specials off. So if she's suffering from a Power Sting, then she's just going to be taking a lot of damage and she needs to wait until it's over. All right. And also evasion champions, all those auto evaders or anybody that evades, anything that will keep her from doing a full five hit combo is going to reduce her effectiveness. All right. So that's going to do it guys. That is clairvoyant. That is my take on her. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and learned a little more about clairvoyant. I would love to get her as a five star. Uh, so take care, click like subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video and you all have a blessed day.